Hello and welcome to the Eagle. I'm Dominic Vizioli. That's Brendan Johnson. And that's Alex Wolfowitz. And today we will be talking about the AL Cy Young race. Brendan, who do you think the AL Cy Young winner is? Well, this is really a tough, tough battle. And honestly, even though Garrett Cole's been slumping, I honestly can't really think of a other pitcher right now. But I'm sure there's more. But I think Garrett Cole could win the Cy Young if he just steps his game up with the Yankees. If he pitches six or seven innings, a night allowing zero earned runs, he will win, win the Cy Young. All right, what about you, Alex? I think that Justin Verlander will win the AL Cy Young. Currently, he is the best ERA in the entire league, a 1.85 ERA. That's the best entire AL and NL. He's just such a good pitcher. He seems to be like getting better with age, and at least I'm still throwing like 95 plus, even when he goes like until 7th or 8th inning. He's just such a good pitcher right now. I agree. I think uh, Justin Verlander really really has a, has a chance here uh, because even though he's old, uh, he's, he's, he's amazing. I have breaking news. Oh, uh, apparently we have breaking news. Breaking news. Justin Verlander has a right an- elbow inflammation and will miss at least three weeks, but he's expected to be back before the playoffs. Oh, ooh, that, that is a game changer for the AL Cy Young race. Yeah. What do you think about that, Alex? I think that even though he's missing three weeks, he can still have, like, it's not that long. It could have been much worse. Some people are out for, like, entire season and he will be back before the playoffs but he's having such a good year already like for example DeGrom he was out for almost the entire season so like there's no way he's gonna win a Cy Young award but since he but he's doing so well right now but he can't win a Cy Young since he only has two wins two um, two games in the entire season I think that Justin Verlander because he's gone the entire season and he can still win the AL Cy Young what do you think, Brandon? I think for the AL Cy Young race, this is a big blow. Now I feel like there's only two pitchers in my mind. There's Shohei Otani, obviously, Garrett Cole, what I say. Uh, but Houston Nationals have been having a great year. World Series contenders playing great, mainly because of Justin Verlander and the pitching staff. But honestly, this is going to be a huge blow for the Astros. Now they only have one starting pitcher that's really a star type in Jose Ucrity. And honestly, this could affect the Astros very good when it's time for Ferland to play and he's injured. I agree, but I think the Astros have been have been doing uh have been on a hot streak right now and um <clears throat> you said earlier that um Jordan Alvarez has a good chance to win a uh, the AL MVP, right? Um, so I think that if they rely on their offense, and I think that they they really rely on their offense to carry them, and if they're and if they haven't scored, they really rely on their bullpen because they have they have a good bullpen as well, Alex. Yeah. Um, I also kind of agree, but he's just. Hopefully he can come back after the break, and he still is. Even if he somehow he doesn't win AL Cy Young, he's still like one of the best pitchers in the league. That might have shaken up the race a little bit, but I think he can. He's gonna still win. Yeah, me too. But um, that's all the time we have for the Eagle. I'm Dominic Vizioli. That's Alex Wolfowitz. That's Brendan Johnson, and we are signing off. Goodbye, everybody.